And on the 253rd day, when God was upset because he just lost a game of Parcheesi to his son, he decided he needed something to make himself feel better. He said, I need someone to get up from the Thanksgiving table just before the pumpkin pie is served. So God made a shopper. He said, I need someone who would rather stand in line for three and a half hours to save $20 on a TV they don't need than to sit and enjoy an evening with family and friends. So God made a shopper. He said, I need a person who can hit three different doorbuster sales and not get knocked to the ground by the hordes of people trying to get a heat buddy for less than a hundred bucks. So God made a shopper. I need someone willing to wear three layers of clothing, miss all the football games, eat only fast food takeout, and line up outside of Best Buy 11 hours before it opens to get one of the three PlayStation 4 Red Dead Redemption 2 bundles for their kid who will never even say thank you for the gift. So God made a shopper. I need someone who doesn't own a computer, a tablet, or a smartphone. Someone who doesn't have access to the Internet. Someone who never stepped inside a public library. Someone who doesn't know the deals are just as good on Cyber Monday and they can stay home. So God made a shopper. He said, I need someone who is not only willing to give up their own Thanksgiving, but a person who wants to save a dollar so much that they feel no guilt in shopping at 4 p.m. on Turkey Day, causing so many retail workers to miss Thanksgiving with their families. I need someone who will berate and yell at that same worker who missed Thanksgiving with their families because they can't issue a rain check on a door buster. Someone who demands to speak to a manager but then leaves in a huff to try a different store rather than wait a minute for the manager to come over. So God made a shopper. I need someone who whips out their credit cards like Pee Wee Herman whips it out in a movie theater. So God made a shopper. He said, I need a person who will elbow their own mother to get their hands on a 4K TV, but then complain loudly about the loss of manners and decorum if someone bumps into their cart in a crowded aisle. So God made a shopper. He said, I need someone willing to max out 12 credit cards, not pay their utility bills for the month of December, and someone who will take out a second mortgage just to put presents under the tree. So God made a shopper. God said, I need someone who will ignore their spouse, their kids, and their parents. Someone who will give up sleep for 23 hours. Someone willing to cram a sausage and egg crust sandwich into their gullet while yammering on the cell phone about which store has the best deals, yet not be concerned about the food they are spitting under the neck of the person in front of them online. He said, I need someone who will drive faster in the parking lot than they will on Interstate 81. Someone who will park in the handicapped spot and then sprint towards the door without a shred of irony. Someone who will beat on the door at the sprawl mart until the glass starts to crack, then get mad when the manager says he won't open the doors till everyone steps back. I need someone who will pay you $100 for your lower number in line. Someone who will finish Black Friday before you even get up for work and then spend the next week bragging on Facebook that they are done holiday shopping. So God made a shopper. Thanks for listening to Prospector's Prime Cuts podcast. Be sure to catch us live weekdays from 5.30 to 10 a.m. on Rock 107 or online at rock107.com or the Rock 107 app powered by Vape Dragons. A free download for your Android or iPhone. Subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher Radio, or wherever you get your podcasts so you never miss Prospector's Prime Cuts.